Definition Evolution Evolutionary biology is an interdisciplinary area of biology that studies the history of life on Earth. It's concerned with the origin, descent, distribution, and changes in species over time and is known as macroevolution. That area that's concerned with the origin, descent, distribution, and changes in alleles and gene frequencies over time is called microevolution. Evolution, in a nutshell, is descent through genetic inheritance with modification. Natural selection. What does descent through modification actually mean? Let's begin with what natural selection is. Natural selection is the process in which favorable traits that are heritable become more common in subsequent generations. Descent refers to the idea that current day organisms arose from older ancestral species over time. Modification is a mechanism or process of interaction between the environment and an organism's heritable constitution, which leads to adaptation. Origin of Life on Earth In this segment, we'll discuss when life evolved. Abiotic origin of life. Proto-life and RNA. Beginning of evolutionary history. Earth was formed about four and a half billion years ago. Forms of life on Earth existed at least three and a half billion years ago. Imprints of bacteria have been found in rock from that long ago. Basic structure of Earth includes one, continents floating on crusts or tectonic plates, two, the mantle is a semi-solid layer between crust and core, and three, core is made up of heavy metals. Possible origins of life on Earth. Divine intervention or creationism. This states that life was created by a deity. One form from which all life evolved. All forms evolved simultaneously according to this theory. Creationists, phylogeny of life, where all forms were created simultaneously and remain unchanged with time. Panspermia, exogenous. In this theory, life existed elsewhere and traveled to Earth on an asteroid. Abiotic origin, origin of life on Earth from an abiotic source. Abiotic Origin of Life According to the Abiotic Origin of Life hypothesis, life originated from the Earth. That is, it is possible that amino acids arose from abiotic components. In the absence of oxygen, this would also require electrical discharge, as might be present in lightning. Proto-Life and RNA Proto-life is the pre-life forms made up of these carbon molecules, such as RNA. Encapsulated organic molecules, such as RNA, can self-replicate, are autocatalytic, and can act as rudimentary templates for protein synthesis. They can compete for scarce resources, such as RNA monomers. Competition leads to natural selection of the fittest RNA molecule, which then can further lead to the reproduction of that specific RNA molecule. Ribozyme evolution. It is also possible that ribozymes evolved from abiotic components. Experimental evolution shows that ribozymes can evolve, but how? Ribozymes RNA plus catalytic activity. The RNA has the genotype, that is, it can be selected, and catalytic activity possesses the phenotype. The genotype will replicate, and the phenotype will evolve. 
proto-life evolves to life. Lipids can spontaneously form bilayers, like a cell's membrane. These lipid bilayers, sometimes referred to as liposomes, can encapsulate organic polymers, like RNAs, sugars, proteins, and fats. Could this have been the beginning of the ancient cell? We don't really know for sure. Common Ancestor Phylogenetic hypothesis for the tree of life based on rRNA. Common ancestor to all life on Earth is also known as Sena ancestor, progenot, and Luca. The Sen ancestor. What was the Sen ancestor like? It's likely it had the properties common to life on Earth, like DNA as its heritable material, proteins for structure, enzymatic reactions, etc., and RNA as an information source. The Sin ancestor likely had a small genome. In fact, some scientists believe that life could be manufactured with a genome as small as 250 to 300 genes. Processes of evolution. In this segment of the tutorial, we'll talk about non-random mating and inbreeding, genetic drift, and mutation. The processes of evolution. Gene frequencies change and the population evolves. Note, populations evolve, not individuals. Five processes are responsible for evolutionary change in a population. These are non-random mating, genetic drift, mutation, migration, and natural selection. Non-random mating. Non-random mating results in gene frequency changes, leading to evolution. Non-random mating, inbreeding, results in increased homozygosity for all genes. Assortive mating, results in increased homozygosity for genes involved in the assortive mating or genes associated or linked to them. Small population size, genetic drift due to sampling effect. Random mating is also called outbreeding. Inbreeding. Inbreeding occurs when there's mating between two individuals that are more closely related than had they been chosen at random. Inbreeding reduces the genetic variation of a population. Inbreeding increases autozygosity. Autozygosity occurs if two alleles at a locus are identical by descent. Inbreeding coefficient, uppercase f, is the probability that an individual randomly chosen from a population is autozygous. Genetic drift. Non-random mating may also occur with small populations. This is genetic drift due to sampling effect. Genetic drift is a change in allele frequency due to chance. No population is infinitely large and the smaller the population, the bigger the effect of genetic drift. Irreversible mutations and evolution. Mutations will change allele frequencies in a population. If a mutation is irreversible, uppercase A, allele gene uppercase A, will go to lowercase a at a rate of u, but will not be able to go back. This is an irreversible mutation. Reversible mutations and evolution. If a mutation is reversible, then as A, uppercase A, goes to lowercase a at the rate of u, and the reverse happens at the rate of v. When a mutation is reversible, the frequencies of the uppercase A and lowercase a allele will eventually reach an equilibrium.